This might be a move mindset talk for you guys. It might be. Or what I really wanted to show you guys was these. Bam! Look at these bad boys. I've been strutting my stuff in my new sharks. They are a little bit hard to walk in, but I'm, I'm owning it, okay? The sharks will be here to stay for a while. What's up, team? I am a day late on our move mindset training, but it's all good. Blitz is here, and we're gonna knock it out. Yesterday, got caught up with a little bit of just the craziness of training and getting ready for semifinals, and just getting the brain ready. So, Move Mindset is here on Tuesday, and it is dedicated to semifinals itself. So I wanted to share with you guys where I'm at, just kind of mindset-wise, as we get closer and closer to game day, which is not this week. Semifinals actually starts this week in a different region. The East goes this week, and we're going to go compete out in the West in Pasadena, California, this next week. So we're doing a little bit more prep around here. Towards the end of the week, I get to deload it a little bit and get the body feeling really awesome. 100% and ready to hit it hard. But when it boils down to these last few days of like hard training, it gets a little bit crazy up in here. Like emotionally, because where I'm gonna kind of lead this to is like how my, my thought process has kind of like been through the year, how it's kind of shifted and the good days, the bad days. So I'll let you guys know like right from the start like the minute I started thinking about and this is this is like immature of my mindset and how far it's come it was literally the minute after we qualified for going to the CrossFit Games in 2022 like the minute we haven't even gotten to the games yet the minute after we qualified I started thinking like how much more pressure I'm gonna feel and just from the pressure of me putting that on myself and how much harder it is training wise to realize now I feel like I'm expected to make it to the games this next year and how crazy is that like I start thinking about that before we even get to the freaking CrossFit games the first year so if that just that little moment tells you like where we're at and how we're gonna approach the the season and in through its good terms and its bad terms and I feel like a lot of things happen the craziest thing about what we do in this sport is we have so many long training days so many long hours of every single day every single day counts and I really put that in my brain like every workout that I've walked into I try to imagine I'm out on the floor competing. I'm out trying to fight for my spot at the games. Every single day you come in here. And the reality is we get to compete live like once or twice throughout the year. All of these hard training days boils down to like, you get to compete live once. So a couple of things with that is the pressure and the nerve and how nerve wracking it is building up to this moment it's always going to be there. That means we care about it a lot. And I definitely felt that as the workouts are being announced and I still feel it right now, but I feel like over the course of this past week, it's been a really, really good growth for me because I was a little bit frazzled when the workouts got announced. There were some that I liked, there were some that I didn't like. And then you're just like over here thinking about like, all the hard work you've put in all throughout the year, every single day you come in here, you imagine, you put that pressure on yourself, you imagine you're competing and you set yourself up and then it boils down to seven events, really six, but there's seven scored events. You're gonna be out on the floor six times. That's what's so crazy and so nerve wracking about it. All that hard work comes down to this. So there's a lot of emotions that builds up into these, or builds up just within these next couple weeks. But like I said, last week I was a little bit up and down. I was getting excited for a few moments. Then I'd have some moments where I was down, where I was like, oh, I don't feel good about this. And then I'd get back into like, no, nah, we're gonna have a whole bunch of fun. And then it'd drop again. And that's okay. That means the emotion is there. That's awesome. I'd be concerned if I was just like, just not caring about it and just floating through that. 
And now I feel like we've taken these waves and made them a little bit more like this, where I still have these moments where I'm like super excited, and these moments where I'm like, oh shoot, this is about to happen. So we're riding the waves. Hey, that was one of our themes one week. And we're making sure we give everything, everything we got for these last few days. I feel like I finally came to the point of like, I am stoked to see you guys in Pasadena to let it rip on the floor, to show how much stronger we've gotten, and we're gonna have some good times. And, if, and when the rougher times present themselves, we'll get through those and we'll climb our way back to some good times. That's the, the beauty of everything that we do. It happens in competition. In competition, it just happens so fast. There's good moments, there's bad moments, there's like, I could have done better here, or that went really well. So, guys, it's crazy, but whether you're an athlete going out there to compete or whether you're going out there to spectate these athletes that have put so much time and effort on these seven events, let's have some fun. Let's celebrate our fitness. Let's celebrate how well we can move. The amazing things we can do with our body, the fact that we can breathe hard and then lay on our backs and then get up and then go do another event, that's gonna be so much fun. And we gotta enjoy it. I said this before, right before I competed at Wadapalooza because I had some serious nerves going on then. But we're out on the floor such a, such a small amount of time. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna enjoy it, and we're gonna compete our asses off because you can't stop that. We are very competitive around here and we don't all do all this for nothing. We're gonna go out there try to secure our second spot to the CrossFit Games and have some freaking fun. Pasadena, can't wait to see you. If you guys are gonna be out there, make sure you, if you do see us, like, like say what's up. Blitz won't be there, I'm sorry. I wish he could come. He's a handful. In the future, maybe he can come, but if you see us, say hi, makes our day. And um, last thing I'll say is, when we go have some freaking fun, that's how we're gonna leave zero regrets. No regrets. Let's go do this thing. I'll see you guys soon in Pasadena. Oh, quick reminder, if you guys want to take a peek at or buy any of my semifinal shirts, Cambro Apparel just released them. We got three designs out for you guys that are all about the hard work we put in this year from Big Becca to you versus you to own who you are. I love, love, love how they all came out. And you can find those through the link. I'll link it here um, in the comment section and it's in my bio on IG. You guys can find it there. But Cambro Apparel, thank you guys for crushing those and about time for us to go crush some fitness in California. Say goodbye to the sharks. Bye-bye. Peace out.